she, she uh, took yeah, it right yeah, back home. Parental role? I, honestly, I'm, I'm, you know, he's. <laughs> I don't know how to really answer that question. I'm, he's been a he's been a, a great leader for us. I wouldn't. I have one father. I, that's my dad, Jodrick Irving. Um, but for us. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Don. And Dad. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Buckethead, Buckethead Nation. Nation. Now today, we're here with reporters asking NBA players stupid questions. Popped up in my little uh, homepage. So why not, let's do it. It's a cool video, plus finals. Suns are up one. Yes. Suns are up one. Let me know who you guys are going for. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I watch Baradis, Stage Drugs' brother. He's a Suns fan like crazy, he's crazy. And like, I want him to win, I don't know, I just. I want him to win. I want, I want the Suns to win so that way he can, you know? Because, it, it, like, they haven't made finals since, like, 90-something. 16 years. 90 so, yeah. Something well, like he, that. I'm not going to sit here and talk like I, I know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Yeah, but. I know that he's been in the league for 16 years. Um, Chris Paul has been in the league for 16 years. Yeah. This is his first final. It's crazy that he's the first person, right? That's crazy. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get to this video. Before we do, how many likes do you want? Three. All right, we get 3,000 likes. That's 3,000, you guys, man. That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. Likes really do help. Send the video out into the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Throw them out there. Get some video rolling. It'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could like the video. For real, really does help. Let's get into this. Three, two, one. Oh, oops. Oops. Click the uh, wrong page. Will the Clippers be back here Sunday playing the game seven? What? <laughs> You're feeling about you know, your level of confidence that you'll be back here again. What you think? For I, I'm on the team. What you want me to say? No, nah, it's open. I, just, I mean, that's what you want to hear? Yes. That's... Come on, man. You've been doing this long enough. <laughs> Seriously, right? <laughs> you can expand upon that. It's like... No, nah, I don't know. It's like... I don't know, man. Like, well, was a dumb question. I get it. But, like, you could tell he's, like, already... Like, no, no. Because... Of, because Why would you ask... A dumb question like that. Right. I, I the, know. the question doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. I, I don't know. I just he he could have asked that question a thousand different ways. He could have said, "What is your what what are your expectations for Game Seven? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Understandable. I got it. I just, dude. I go I, as soon as they, as soon as he's like, "What?" Like I kind of, yeah. I kind of like felt <laughs> like I felt the reporter. Like I felt scared. Like just nervous. Like like shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because he just yeah. Because it was. Uh, because when it came out, he probably in his head had a different question. Yeah, yeah. But his mouth said something else. And then he went, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody in here laughing for a reason. <laughs> Damn. Paul, LeBron, a great father after the Chicago game. What? Yes, he did. Great father. Oh, a great father. father. Oh, I thought he's... Oh, I'm bad. I, got, I interpreted that, that complete wrong. Okay. He was a great father to him. I was like, what? Called him a great father. So yeah. what type of parental role has he played for you and your teammates? What kind of parental what? role? Oh, okay, so you... T she, t uh, she took yeah, it right yeah, back home. Parental role? I, honestly, I'm, I'm... You know, he's... <laughs> I don't know how to really answer that question. I'm, he's been a he's been a, a great leader for us. I wouldn't... I have one father. I, that's my dad, <laughs> Jodrick Irving. Um, but for us, in terms of learning the nuances of the game and also how to win on the court and also how to carry ourselves off the court. I feel like he's been a great influence in, in that role. <laughs> I have one dad. So funny. Uh, yeah, he had, to, he had to put that straight. Oh, this dude right here goes off all the time. I can't hear. Hold up. I'm gonna, my fault. I just want to restart it because I didn't, I didn't hear. Okay, uh, Draymond, uh, here's an interesting question. So last year you visited us. Uh, Game three, the no flood, you win. Game four, there was flood, you lo you lose. And this year, you visit us. Game three, there's a flood, you win. Game four, there's no flood, you uh, uh no. Game three, three, there's flood, you you lose. Game four, there's uh no flood, you win. Brother, so, you, you mean... asked me about the flood in practice the other day, you know, and I um I I said I pray for the city of Houston because you don't want to see anyone go through that. I feel like you keep trying to get at like us hitting threes or something and you're trying to get a controversial statement out of me, but you're not because I feel sorry for the people of Houston. People are losing their homes, losing their cars, losing their lives, losing loved ones, and you're trying to get a controversial statement out of me about the threes we're hitting. I know what you're getting at, but you're not getting that out of me. It's, it sucks. If I was from Houston, I'd Damn. do anything I can 
to help the city out. And I'm sure some of those guys are going to do what they can to help the city out. And you saw a donation the other, other, the other night. It sucks. Stop trying to do that. That's not cool, man. You keep asking me the same question about this flood. These people are losing their lives, bro. Losing their homes. Don't ask me that no more. Because it ain't cool. And you're not getting the statement you want out of me. That's not cool, man. Stop doing that. Toward the end of the game, uh, you shot a... What do you do with that? I, I think that's good. It just shows you that, that, that NBA players or players in general care more that the game is not as big as people's lives. Like, yeah, no, I got you. I was like, but do you think that that's what that guy was trying to do? Or like... I don't think he. I, yeah, I, I I didn't take it from. I didn't take it like that. Like if, I didn't. If, if I, the way I the way I, I he he really thought that he was gonna say something else, yeah. and then he just basically made him look. He just went off. That's what he, I'm saying. Like and he I, made him look stupid. Well, yes, and like it depends how you see it though, because I, I I get the, the reporter was just. He sounded friendly with it, but then he said he said that he asked him at practice. Right. So like I mean, there's context also right. with it, but. Right. Just from that clip alone, I felt bad for the reporter because I feel like he wasn't, he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know the whole story. But, yeah, but I don't know. He just, he, he just went off and like. Yeah, oh. he, but he what he did was he made people understand that the game is there's a lot people's lives are more important than the game. Yeah, I know. And, and that was really that worked out. Three kind of putting the dagger into him, and you look toward the crowd toward uh, Rihanna. Uh, was was that uh, uh, on purpose, or or do you remember that? Or? I don't even remember that. <laughs> well, just to let you know, social media is buzzing about. Really? It. Yes. Don't get in that trap. Yeah, bro. don't get in there. <laughs> I'm cool. Have fun with that. Dan Feldman, NBC Sports. stuff. I'm sorry we keep asking you about squatting, but well. Draymond and Steve were arguing with the ref when one of them got the technical. It looked like you squatted down. And were you just stretching there? And what did Richard Jefferson say to you? Everyone keeps asking us to get ad blocks, man. We ain't going to get ad blocks. You. You, you serious better, right now? Man. You got to be better. People are, People are curious. Come on now, man. <laughs> this is crazy. You got to be better than that. <laughs> People are curious. What is he asking? I didn't even hear. Squat? No, squat. I really don't have an answer for that. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. What, what did Richard Jefferson say to you? I have no idea. I don't remember what, what uh, situation you're talking about, but... Yeah. Um, you got to be better, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like you, but you got to be better. <laughs> I'll take the compliment. Oh, oh this is... This is... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. <laughs> Snake bitch hey, mom right America up. went. He said it. Yeah. Shaq, let's just say that a uh, snake bitch your mom right up here, right in the chest area. Would you be willing to suck the venom out to win the title? Oh, my God. No, but I will with your wife. <laughs> Brian, you may not um, like this one, and I'm not um, thrilled asking yeah. it. I'm obviously trying to diffuse this a little bit, but um, it appears that you unfollowed the Cavs on Twitter today. And it's, <laughs> it's caused quite a stir. Man. Why did you do that, or what what would go into that? <laughs> from, from reporter side, it's a good question. Huh? From reporter side, that's a good that's question. Good question. Yeah. Next, Next question. question. I'm under, you, you've had 38 assists tonight. That's a season high. What can is this something you can take forward to the next game? Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm done. Mark, last question. <laughs> LeBron, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. From listening to everybody's reaction to the play at the end with Jr. getting the rebound, there's still confusion about whether Jr. thought the game was tied. Or, the way, or whether he thought oh, you I guys were ahead. From where you stood on the court and from talking to him after the play, what do, what's oh, your reaction to it? What's your way? version? Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, what's my version? Well, did he think that the game was tied, or did he think that you guys had it salted away? How do I know that? Or did you discuss it at all with him at the end of the play? No. They asked me if I talked to JR about it. I said no already. I knew it was a tie game. We, met, we, we was down one. Uh, George Hill went up. He made the first one. We got the offensive rebound. You know, I thought we were all aware of what was going on. 
that's my view. So I don't know what Jr. was thinking. I don't know the question you're trying to ask. I was just trying yeah. to see if you you knew exactly what his state of mind was. Did he think that you guys had it won, or did he think he was trying to make a play? Not sure. What do you mean? I'm not sure. No, I don't know his state of mind. Did you know if he knew the score? Thank you. I, I get that. I get it. He asked the same question over. He just said that he never he hadn't talked to him about it. But I ain't gonna lie though. I do feel like after game emotion does affect their the way they act. You know what I'm saying? Kobe, not Dad? To twist your word. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I feel like the after game emotion is what makes yeah, it. Yeah, he was he was yeah. already pissed off. Yeah. I read too much into what you said, but being around young players energized you. That's not a statement about maybe you'd like to see some young players on your team. Wow. That, <laughs> you know what? That's a Bikram yoga stretch. All right. You stretched the hell out of the good RP, job. RP, man. Good job. I'm not even going to answer that. That's just silly. Next. <laughs> Do you think Harden is a max player? Or would you rate him as a shooting guard in the NBA? Um... James Harden is a, is a great player for our team. Uh, he does a lot of great things for us, and um, he's going to continue to do that for us. No more questions for you, bro. Generally, <laughs> 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 just the frustration later in the game of, of you know the way he played or didn't play in the first half, and and, and as things kind of in, in the fourth quarter, it seems like you know he he wasn't things weren't breaking for him. What's your question? Well, how, how do you think he handled the frustration? Um, I mean, it seemed like there were a lot, no, I mean, a lot of things that were yeah, I mean, going against uh, him. I mean, he's a competitive guy, man. So you, you felt like he had, they missed a the goaltending call, which they did miss. And then I said so after the fact. So he kind of lost it there for a second and went went crazy. You know, he didn't pick up a technical foul or anything like that. But I felt like he played with the intensity that we want him to play with, you know, in the second half. Does, does, that, does that say something, though, that, I mean, you guys scored on the possession anyway? And that he's he's still frustrated enough that he's uh, you know not letting it go. <laughs> what what, what are you writing a temper tantrum column, Andrew Bynum thing? No, no I mean look, he, he he everybody <laughs> has moments where they blow up like that. Where they you know he didn't cost us anything. He didn't get a technical foul. Do what? Do you still feel the same way about practice? Do I what? Do you still feel the same way about practice? <laughs> Obviously, you didn't get it. <laughs> 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 I thought I said that. I really, I didn't think that I would ever get that question again. Like, I thought that I would. See, you might not have seen the documentary, so I'm gonna give you that. Just go watch it. You know what I'm mean? saying? I'm, I'm gonna just, you know, hope that you didn't, you didn't see it. But I, I, I you just heard me say I was the MVP. The, that's the best player in the whole world. You think I can't be a, I can be an MVP without practicing? Right. Got to be a bad motherfucker. <laughs> There's a video of like, look like. <laughs> okay. For real, man. I don't Thank I you. Know if you well, went to clear why would I ever say that? I didn't know if you no, went to clear anything up. I didn't what know what, what video? There's a video that the Thunder Twitter account tweeted out. What video? It's a video of you putting up a shot pregame. Mm -hmm. Ran off and yelled something. I would something never say no other man's name like that. For one. Thank you, Kyrie. What do I look like? I was talking to my trainer's daughter. His name is her daughter. His, his daughter's name is Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. I'm tired. Of, I ain't even about to keep going on there. I'm, I'm about to keep my spirit up because I'm not about to even involve myself in no dumb stuff like that. But next question, man. <laughs> Steven, second time in three games, uh, you guys really struggled when Russell went to the bench. You were out there for part of that. What goes on when he goes to the bench? Why is Houston so successful, and, and do you sense that, that they sort of get an energy boost just from him going out of the game? Hold on, Steven. <clears throat> I don't want nobody to try to split us up. We all one team. Regardless, if I go to the bench, if Steven was on the floor, if I'm off the floor, we in this together. Don't split us up. Don't try to split us up. Don't try to make us go against each other. Try to make it against Russell and the rest of the guys, Russell against Houston. I don't, I don't want to hear that. We in this together. We playing as a team. And that's all that matters. That's it. Yeah, Russell, I'm not trying to split you up, but twice in three games, 
you guys have not played well at all when you've gone to the bench. That's fine. We, and say, I'm just say, trying to figure out what's going say, on. Say, Russell, you ain't played well at all. Say, Russell and the team is, haven't played well. Don't say when Russell goes out, the team don't play well. It don't matter. We in this together. That may that may be, Russell, but I've asked Stephen a question. Well, and it's, it's a legitimate question. you. Next question. It's a legitimate question. Next question. Next question. Yeah. Well, Next he, question. He took it over. No, I think we'll keep the microphone. I had a question for Ste I had a question for Stephen, and it, it wasn't answered. And I don't understand if Stephen wants to say he still hasn't said anything. If he wants to say I don't want to answer that, fine. But next question, please. I like that. You're not a yeah. I did. I like that. Yeah, that I was like good. that. He's he's a spokesman for the team, and he's speaking for the team, and and that's just the way it's got to be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys didn't, make sure to leave a thumbs up. See y'all in the next one. See you guys.